Right, today I'm going to do something again different. As we know, we have problems with cat fur. Well, this is what happens when you live with fluffy things. And yeah, fair enough, it's not, it's bad, but it's not too bad because obviously, as you know from my last video, I did one on coconut oil. So it does make their fur a lot more softer, so it's less dense, if you know what I mean, because usually it has like... A thicker consistency if you know what I mean but obviously on the uh, the coconut oil they uh, it makes it softer so obviously that's why it, it passes through their system a lot easier so hence hardly any fur balls but I still have problems with fur I mean obviously you can't see too much on these clothes because I'm wearing grey at the moment I'm not wearing black which I do wear a lot of black <laughs> so you know and um I'm going to find something to test on in a minute, but I've got, no, I need to learn to count. <laughs> I've got three things that I'm going to test. <clears throat> this I got a while ago. That's meant to help brush the fur off. A sticky roller. <laughs> and something that I actually bought from Amazon. I did see it advertised, but every time I see something advertised, I look on eBay or what's the other one? Amazon. And I always see if you can get it cheaper. And normally when they advertise it on Facebook or if you see advertisements on YouTube or Instagram, I always take down the name and look for the item to see if you can get it cheaper. And majority of times you can. You can save a lot of money. So I'm going to open it up and show you. There we go. As you can see, it's brand new. It's called a portable lint remover, a uh, centre woven, uh, woven coat for pet hair. So this is meant to get rid of it. Okay. Obviously, like I said, it's brand new. And I've got another one that I actually forgot I had. Because again, you must realise that I got, get an awful lot of pet fur. So I might actually try it on this bedding it did get changed this is not actually what i use a lot on my bed because the cats have tore it up a few times with the nails because anything soft they just uh, do the thing of make or uh, what it's called making biscuits but what it is they do that from when they're kittens they do that with the paws is when they're stimulating the milk on the mother so i've got another thing i'm going to try Oh. See, I put hair bubbles on them because it's easier to grip. Now, this one I got ages ago. And obviously, you can see it's full of fur. But it's one of them. You're meant to get all the fur and then you put it under the tap to get it all off. It's been typical. God, it looks like we've got ears with this thing. Uh, get down. <laughs> That's better. You make a video and somebody comes to the door. I've got my landline. Uh turned off and no somebody comes to the door I need to put a sign on the door do not disturb <laughs> anyway let's start this again so now instead of me having three I've got four items and the cats are all wondering what the fudge is going on I haven't got any treats for you at the moment well I have but I'll give it to them after so we are going to test these four items and see how well they do Looks like I'm going to be getting some help by the experts. <laughs> there we go. 
Right, anyway, it's because they're interested and I'm doing something different. <sighs> Let's try these. Uh, excuse me. Can I just try you for a minute? So we'll try this box one. I got this a while back. Don't know where that's showing in reverse. I think it says carpet. So we're going to try it and see how much fur it removes. So I'm actually going to reverse this camera so you can see it a bit better. This is what they want, first of all. <sighs> Let's see. Nope, nope. Athena. Good girl. No. <sighs> Somebody's got it. Who got it? <laughs> right, we'll start again. Can I have my hand back, please? Natsu. Good girl. No. Your nails are getting clipped after boyo. Nope. Gizmo. Get off my ring. That's my ring. That's my finger. Gizmo. Get off. Thank you. Jeez. I have no hands left at this rate. Nope. Nope. Kronos, he's on the floor, you can't see him. Right, who else have we got? Nope. Kublai. Takes it gently, good boy. Nope. Ouch. Get off my hand. Rhea. Right, we we'll do Athena again. Get off my hand. Thank you. There you go, Athena. Good girl. Good girl. You've got a black cloud in the way. And that is Cersei. Right, come on, Cersei, out of the way. Good girl. Come on, get down. Get down, because nobody can see. Get down. Good girl. Fudge. Right. Let's see. Shadow. Good boy. Tyrion. Good boy. That's my finger. Thank you. Nope. I know who's who. Fast. Good boy. Shiro, good boy. No. Bubbles, lift it out of the way, you. Bubbles, good girl. Right, Kronos, Rhea, there's no Sakura. We've got Athena, Natsu, Yoshi, Kublai, Tarian, Shadow, Bubbles, Shiro, Fast. I can see Yoshi, you've all had one. So I'm not giving any more out because too many is bad. Let me just put these away. Right. All gone. All gone. You can all check. All gone. Now I do have other cats, but they get theirs separately. These are the older ones. Yes. And then can I get to do my roller video? I can imagine there's going to be a few chops in this video. Ah, 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 ah. Stop fighting. Come on. Didn't help that somebody came to the door dropping off a parcel, but not for me. Right. Once the experts settle down, then I will resume filming. Cats at the coconut. That's what they do. Like I said before, oops. I'll leave it down for them. The paper's in front of stuff that I shred later. And obviously they've got spare coconut there waiting. So yeah, that's the state of their dish because it always gets dirty, but it's full of coconut and they go over and eat it. Anyway, that's from the previous video. Let's carry on with this one. Going to be testing. <laughs> On my coat and Kronos, my cat, has decided he wants to help. Oh dear. This is what happens. Sorry. Are you going? Yeah, I love you too. Yes, I know. You're going. You're going. I need to do the video. Oh my days. Come on, you're going down. Or you going there. Go there. Shh, go there. Thank you. 
coat. This coat I got ages ago, should have been about 100 quid. So it's a tie off. It's meant to be a men's coat, but I liked it because of all the zips. <laughs> and obviously it's black. So we're going to give it a go with one of these cleaners. I haven't a clue where I could set up my camera. So uh, we're just gonna have to run with this. As you can see, now we're in a better lighting. You could see all the fur that's on this coat. It's black with white fur. And I'm not impressed. Even if you wash it, it will just ingrain it into the material, which is an absolute pain in the bum. So we're going to see which of these items are good. So I'm just going to place this camera down about here. And we're just going to put this thingy right. Because I'm near the hood, aren't I? <laughs> I'll get this camera right one day. Right, the orange one. Let's see how well it would do. It is actually moving the fur. Fur enough is going over their stuff, which I'm going to have to move some of it. But look, let's see if we've got a good patch. That's kind of fur free. Well, what you've got to do with this is you've got to work your way down the material to get it. And sometimes you don't want it all over the material, do you? <laughs> so let's see how this goes. And I'm knocking stuff down. <laughs> right, let's move this. Right. Well, it does look like it's moved quite a bit of fur. So that's that bit. We'll do this next bit here. And we'll use this lint, well, this roller, the sticky roller. Now the rollers, they stop working after a while. They end up doing something stupid like this. I'll give it that, it's moving some fur. Again. So it seems to be just doing as well as that rubber one that I used. Right. Let's just throw that on the bed. And the rubber one. The carpet one. Now I'm going to use this one. Now there is a downside to this one. Which I'll show you. Right, I'm going to have to stop the camera and turn this around because it's been a pain in the bum. Unfortunately I can't see what's going on because... There was a cat sat in front of the cat, oh, trying to sit in front of the camera. Let's turn that. So that's a bit we use with the rubber bit. Oh, this is going to fall over this camera the way they're going. <laughs> we use some of the sticky. Now we're going to try this roller. Get your tail out of the camera, you. That's the roller one. Get your bum out of the way, boyo. Come on, bast. So let's try this. These are seem to be working quite well. This is quite a dilemma. But there is a slight problem with this one. We're back again. It appears some of the staff got in the way. Mainly known as the cats. So anyway. <laughs> now there's an upside and a downside to this. Yes, it does get it, and it is sticky. The problem is, it takes ages to wipe it all off to get the fur. And obviously the fur is going into your sink, and then you've got to pick it all out, which is can be a pain in the bum. But the coat does seem to be getting fur-free, which I do like. And I am getting some quite clear spaces. Now, it doesn't matter whether I put this coat in another room, it still manages to attract cat fur like the plague. It's unbelievable. Oh. There's going to be a lot of cuts in this video. <laughs> so it's picked up quite a bit. 
but obviously it won't be as sticky now because it's all full of fur. Let's try the other one. I might have to check. Turn this coat around since they're all doing pretty well. Oh, fudge. Oh, it's quite a heavy coat as well for the price I paid for it. So it is worth it. And let's try this other one. Now this one is meant to pick up the fur really, really well. That's one the arm. The arms are a pain in the bum. Do you know what? It's actually doing the job. It's actually gathering it all up into a bunch and getting rid of it. I don't know if it's going to the floor, but it means I'm going to be hoovering it up. But you know what? It's actually doing quite well. Better than I thought it would, you know? I do wear a lot of black clothes. I, I'm a big fan of it. But this, I'm quite impressed with it, you know? Black. I mean, some of these are marked because I went to my daughter's car yesterday and it was warm. But where I live, it's colder. So I took my coat just in case, but I didn't really get to wear it. See, that's the only downside is these things, if you're using it on material, it's catching. But on the smoother bits, it's getting rid. So I don't want it to destroy this coat too much because, like I said... Not a cheap coat. I mean, I do have another. I've got a few coats. I've got a flock coat and oh, one that's got a skeleton body all the way down it, and <laughs> and then it's underneath my uh, very uh, expensive dress. <laughs> but do you know what? It is actually doing pretty well. I'm quite impressed because I do get sick of all the cat fur everywhere, and I thought, you know. It doesn't matter how many cats you have, even if it's just one, the fur gets everywhere. My first option when I got a cat wasn't a black cat at the time. I've got four black cats now. The majority of them are all white. So obviously white and black isn't always a good look. So you know what, it's actually doing quite well. I'm actually enjoying using this, getting all the fur off. It does need washing, but it's dry clean, clean only. And the nearest dry cleaners shrunk one of my coats. And let's say I wasn't too impressed. I'm turning this around. All right, I'm going to try on one of these. That's if I get left long enough by the cats. So we're going to try. Whoops, I've got to drop everything. The orange one again. This is really furry. You always get somebody in the way. Hold on a minute. Excuse me. Thank you. Very helpful, boy. You stay there. Oh, pain in the bum. I'd shout at them, but why? It's my fault I've got them here. <laughs> so I won't shout at them. Unless they really do push it. No, you don't go up there. So this one's actually doing pretty well. Look at all the fur it's got off that. No, we're not getting that fur off. Now come here. Pain in the bum. Uh, fudge. Go down there. Thank you. So that's actually pretty good. This obviously doesn't roll properly and we'll probably have to change the paper. See, that's the other downside of these. You usually have to change the paper. Oh my day. Sometimes I wonder where the day goes and then I realise it's removing cats from places. <laughs> but off it goes. Fresh one. And obviously stopped rolling now. So we'll just do this again. Just 
not as good as the uh, rubber one, is it? Because it's almost full and it's stopped being sticky. So that's why I did the rubber one. This one? Nah. Next, we'll try the blue one. This is the one that you've got to wash. And I've started again to see how it goes. Let's see. Well, this is a bit different now, see? It's been a bit harder to do it now. It seems after you've washed it, you've got to wait until it dries. Which can be a pain, because what have you got to go somewhere in a rush and get rid of all the cat hairs? You can't. You've got to wait for this to dry. So I'm just checking to see if we can see the next bit. Oh, sorry, baby. I think we can. We'll move you a little bit. And this is this one again. Let's try this again. Oh, wow. Look at all that. Hello, Kronos. Are you back? say you'd be able to see that it's clear but Kronos has come and sat on there again excuse me boyo come here all right sit on my neck do you know what that is so much easier and it gathers it all for you <sighs> you know, she's having a look that is really good I like that now the other ones are all furry so I'll show you the difference I mean, I know you can use like, you know, them plastic throwaway gloves. They can do it too. Yes, it's a bit sticky and it's stuck on you, silly nana. But you know what? The cats are really interested in what I'm doing today. Whereas when I was doing the, the test, let me just stop this so I can turn around and show you. There you go, I'm showing you now. All that I got off of that. That's quite a lot. And obviously if you work at it, you'll be able to get loads out. See, this is how the other ones are. Furry. And they have to be done to obviously get rid of all the hair. And then obviously I hoover the floor or brush this one. And then I mop it. It has to be done every few days because it gets really bad because there's several cats. <laughs> but I'm used to doing it and I don't mind. So, I can honestly say... This one, definitely number one. This one. Number two, still got bits on it, which I'll take off now. And they are actually easy to take off. So that's what you need, you see. This one, definitely has to be number two. So, yeah. You can actually see which is the best out of the two and... Definitely this one, this one second. So I will look for them and put the uh, where the links of where these uh, where you can buy these. So let's do that. But first of all, okay, that was a lot of messing around, <sighs> trying to dodge cats, which wasn't easy. But yeah, I can definitely say. This one, which I'm going to take the label off in a minute, otherwise the cat's are going to think it's a game and probably nick off of it. And this carpet one. So they are definitely pretty good. So obviously you're going to go over with your hoover, but you're also going to have better off trying with these to get rid of them, especially off your clothes, because it is a pain in the neck. Now I do wear gothic clothes, like this one. <sighs> it's uh, eat, drink and be scary <laughs> so yeah <laughs> anyway i do hope you've enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe and thank you for watching and also welcome to new uh subscribers please uh yeah hope you're enjoying and please put a comment down below and if you can't think of something to say 
please 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 <laughs> just put a cat emoji <laughs> or a paw print it will all be greatly uh, appreciated so thank you very much and thank you for watching